New developments tonight. Almost six months after a mother of two was killed in a chairlift accident, investigators say faulty mechanics may be to blame. Our chief investigator, Tony Kowaleski, is here. Tony, you've been digging into this report, and it finds uh, what a lot of witnesses told us. Yeah, exactly, Shannon. We've been watching closely and asking tough questions for several months. Witnesses said the chair was swinging wildly from side to side, and, and really that lines up with the findings of the report that was released today. Investigators say the lift was speeding up and slowing down at seemingly random intervals on the day of the accident. We have learned the speed shifts may have contributed to the chairlift hitting a tower, ejecting Kelly Huber and her two daughters. Now, the girls received serious injuries, but they did survive. You're taking a look now at an internet picture showing them in wheelchairs in the hospital after the incident. Online fundraisers have collected tens of thousands of dollars for their future education. Now, back to the investigation. We now know that Ski Granby Ranch installed a lot of new chairlift technology last summer, including a new electrical drive and a new control board. According to state investigators, that technology was not properly tuned on the day of the accident. It helps explain what one eyewitness told us earlier this year after the incident. I noticed it started swinging to side by side, sideways. Essentially, the report blames a series of errors by all parties involved. It started with the installation of that new electronic lift drive last summer. The report also notes a number of reports by skiers before the incident questioning the irregular operation of the Quick Draw Express. And we talked to an expert within the past hour who says the ski area failed to recognize problems with a malfunctioning lift before the day of that fidelity. Now, one of the big questions that we're still looking to answer and that remains to be answered is that did the lift and why did the lift pass an inspection 24 days before that accident. We're still waiting for answers from the general manager of Ski Granby Ranch. A lot we learned just in the past couple hours. You know, at five o'clock you had talked about a recommendation about a kind of a black box device to be put on aerial lifts. Well, what do you make of that? To me, that's one of the most intriguing parts of this report. What it says to me is investigators wanted more information. And as we all know with airplanes or other major transportation devices that when you have a black box, it helps answer questions afterwards. What this says to me is clearly they want more information by putting black boxes on ski lifts in the future. If this does happen again, they may get better answers than they have right now. It will be expensive, but it could be a very important part of improving ski lifts. By the way, only ski accident involving ski lifts in Colorado in 30 years. So we have a safe system. Thank goodness. All right. I know you'll follow up. Thank you, Tony.